all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and we are day 43 here on the frozen rock, and we had just finished up the mining rig last time, but a couple of the pistons was not extending. Well, when I got back into the game, they were working. I don't know what the problem was and why it uh, wasn't, but they are completely extended out. I wanted to go look and see how much coal we have gathered and how much stone we have gathered. Oh, come on, get up here. There we go. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is retract the drills and make another pass with them and then I think we will kind of call this good so this bin is about half full we've got uh, 10,000 of stone so I'm gonna be able just to come over here and get my stone and take it back over for uh, refining and so yeah that's looking pretty good uh, this one should still be empty uh, I got this little bit of concrete in here. And that was just to make room. Let me see if I can put it, pull it out of here and put it back over here. There we go. And then I think, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go retract those drills. And see if we can't get that set for another pass and then uh, I think we'll call this good I think what I want to do is bring the drills well yeah let's go ahead and just bring the drills back all right let's hop in here all right we know that uh, this first drill here is drill number or uh, piston number two so let's do this, get into the control panel. Uh, piston number two. All right, let me check my velocities. We need to change this to, I think 0.5. Uh, we are sharing inertia and tinctures. So max distance out max distance return so let's see if this will reverse uh, which one is it reversing oh no you know what I got to change my max distance to zero not ten all right back to the control panel if we change this to zero uh, all right well let's change this to one All right, well, son of a gun. There is something. I don't know, the game might be glitching a little bit because those pistons extended. All right, let's, let's retract piston number three. It should retract, or I'm sh sorry, piston number four. All right, it's set at zero. Let's just uh, reverse that. And it is. All right, yep, 
that one is coming back. We'll let that one get all the way reversed back. Now see, them extending out was the way it was supposed to work. And I still don't know why that number one or number two did not retract. It should have. All right, let's see how we're doing. Uh, piston number four. It's almost all the way back. And we can start with, let's go ahead and go to piston number three. It is velocity. We've got that set at zero. Let's reverse that. And that one is returning. Okay. Okay, that is coming back the way it's supposed to. Boy, this, this drilling system has certainly been a challenge, that's for sure. But, I just can't figure out if there's just something, there's nothing impeding that. Okay, and all right, those are just about all back. All right, let's see if we can get, see if number one will retract. All right, piston number two. set at zero. It's just, it's not uh, doing it. Oh, for heaven's sakes. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. There it's coming in. And. All right. Well, chalk that one up to the commander again. All right. Let me see something here. I need my to be a minus 0 0.1. So let's change the velocity on this to read a minus point one there we go all right okay now let's take a look I may have to do a little bit of grinding out here We should be able to rotate this just a little bit. Now, I would like to rotate it this away, which means I should take this out. Let's get some of these out of here. And I am 
probably going to have to drill some of this out down here. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn those drills off. Because that could be a bad thing. I've got a button for that, so we can go over here and get this done. All right. Uh... Control panel. Uh, coal drills. Let's turn them off. That way it'll be safe to get down and in there. You know, we got to keep the safety precautions in place here. The main reason I want to turn it this way is I think we'll get a little more stone out of here. So, uh... I'm going to do some carving out here, and I'll catch back up with you when I am ready to turn the drills and uh, start the, the pistons going out again. Okay, I am back, and I've got this drilled out where I think <coughs> I can uh, rotate the drills by about maybe five degrees and then we can start extending out again uh, and the only other thing that I might do since I want to rotate it this away I'm not going to worry about it at this point but I could put one more drill on here I think and I might do that when I get ready to start turning this the other way uh, actually you know what I'm going to do that now. I think that would make the most sense. And in that way, we're not ending up with a berm that could end up ultimately causing the drills to explode. So let me let me do that. Let me put build one more drill on here. And uh, then we can uh, rotate this and have it uh, do another pass. I'll be back with you in just a little bit. Alright, I am back. I have the drill in place. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so we've got the drill set up. And I actually made a pass with it. So it took out that one little berm on this side. And so now, we have a completely functioning drill. Uh, system. So now what I want to do is rotate it this way a little bit and make a pass directly out uh, taking this next uh, uh, layer of coal and a little bit of rock. So let me get up there and see if I can get the rotor turned properly. I've already got that drill included into the group uh, named it Drill 6. And let's do this. Let's go ahead and turn those drills on. That way when we're starting to make the turn. And we can see them functioning. Alright. Let's go back in. Control. Coal. And here's our advanced rotor. So velocity is set. Let's let's just go ahead and set this at 0.1. And let's unlock it. Oh, that's going the wrong way. Let's uh, reverse it, I think. Yeah, that was starting to spin. We want it to go the other way. All right. Cool. Advanced rotor. Let's uh, reverse and unlock. There it goes. All right, let's get in there. Panel. Uh, 
Where's my advanced rotor? Let's, uh... Oh, crap. Rotor lock. Alright, let's hop out and see where that's at. Alright, that didn't do too bad. Let's get down and look at it from down here. Everything's looking pretty good. And yeah, let's let's go ahead and send this uh, down. I think if I wanted to get it perfect, I would have to have had a sideways piston pushing it over. But at this point, uh, let's go ahead and start extending these out. And once we're we're satisfied with this, ooh, that's dangerously close. Uh, once we make an extension, or we extend it out and pull it back, I need to start working on actually creating this as a mine. Uh, doing the infrastructure down here. Uh, making a proper uh, steps in and out of the, the, the pit itself. And so let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and send this out. So we want piston number two. Click reverse. And there it goes. Let's hop over here and look at this thing as it's going out. And there it is. It's starting to take... All right, that's looking pretty good. This is going to mine way more coal than I could ever need. Uh, so that's why we'll probably only do one more pass here. We'll just make this one pass and then we'll get the infrastructure in. And then we can move on to something else. We've spent way more time on this drill system than it probably should have taken. Uh, due to part of it, the uh, commander's bumbling. But it is working pretty good now. All right. That uh, first piston is just about all the way out. I'm going to have to pull out all of those gridlock uh, scaffolding on this side. Yeah, we'll pull out all the scaffolding back to about here. Which will allow the, the drill system to continually spin around all the way around here. And that'll be good. Oh, I think the... Uh, that is piston is out all the way. Let's uh, get uh, piston number two going out. Uh, which is actually piston number three. Let's go ahead and reverse that. There we go. So, let's go ahead and start taking out, while that is going out, we can start taking this stuff out of here. Alright. There we go. Now, I might leave these in right here. Let's take this one and this one out. I'll leave these in in case I'm going to build out my infrastructure right over to here. 
probably not, but there's no reason to take these out just yet. And that is still extending out. There's going on to the third system, so it should be about seven meters out. And once we get get that one all the way out. All right. Okay, that one just got all the way out, so let's go ahead and reverse the last one. There we go, and that is going out. It's looking pretty good. Let's go up and see uh, how we're doing on the inventory. Uh, actually, you know what? We could probably look at the capacity down here. We don't have to walk all the way up, I don't think. We can uh, look in here. And if we go to coal, uh, the coal boiler is full. Drills, that's pulling in rock. A small cargo. Oh, here's our large cargo. All right, this one is full. And this one is starting to fill up. And we got a nice supply of stone that we're grabbing as well. And shoot, that's going to really... That should really do pretty good. All right, uh, let's get back in there. Uh, and it's almost there, a couple of more. Okay, that's reached, so let's go ahead and reverse, reverse these now. We can get all three of them coming back. And I could probably automate this stuff, or at least do a little better and putting it in the hot bar, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. All right. And we could probably go ahead and turn off the drills. There we go. So what I would like to be able to do is put a path in coming down, put stairs coming down, kind of build out the platform down here and then put some lights down here and stuff. So I think that's the next thing I'm going to get started on. But I'm happy with the drill system now. After about three tries. And we can hop down here and take a look to see how, because I think I can get out of here. sure everything is back okay there's one and two and three all right so I figured it would probably leave one little thing so if there's if there's some reason I need to create a fallout shelter or something down here, those will be easy enough to take out. And by spinning it just the little bit that I did, most of this is all opened up. Okay. Now, on to creating the infrastructure down here. Let's, uh, let's get 
up and out of here. So once I have, well, let me kind of tell you what I, what I want to do is tunnel out that kingfish number five is this spot down here. And what I want to do is tunnel out from the seat down to here. And then I'm going to create a shaft. We're not really a shaft, but a set of stairs coming down into here. Uh, catwalk type things. And just uh, bring it on down from here. And then this will be the entrance down to the mine. And then kind of build this up a little bit. And then we'll have a... Uh, uh, this uh, this facility out here will be pretty much done and the other thing then I'll be able to do is haul haul that stone that I've got and take it back over there as I'm making trips and then I shouldn't really have to worry about mining too much stone at least for now all right uh, well let me get started on some of that infrastructure and I'll give you an update and then it'll be about time to uh, probably call the video good all right, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, everybody, I am back. I have been working on starting to get out some scaffolding laid out here. So obviously here's the drill. And then once we get this all built, we'll do one more pass with the drills. Uh, but here is what I've kind of got laid out. So coming down to the control seat is right here. Uh, so if we follow this tunnel that I've kind of tunneled out here, and my original tunnel was right here, but that's okay. We'll just leave that as, so this area will kind of look like it'll be explored out. And I'll put guardrails and whatnot, but I've built a uh, set of uh, stairways coming down into the the mine uh, this was the old shaft or this was the old uh, drill hole that I used to get down in and out I'll probably put some stuff up in through here just to kind of block this off a little bit but so I come up out here you can kind of get the gist of it coming up coming up and we get back up to the surface and we get up here to the uh, generators and the storage sheds for the mine. Now what I'm going to do is kind of build this out. Uh, put uh, maybe make kind of a little blockhouse type thing that you come down through here to get into the mine shaft and kind of do that. Uh, I'll put some guardrails up or something like that just to kind of prevent hazards of falling in. Uh, this, I'll probably cover this up somehow, and maybe that'll be part of the blockhouse, uh, building that out, building the platform on out through here. And that might work out as well. I build the platform out through here because I've got all that stone. I've got to uh, load onto the carrier and get that back over. So I think that's what I'm going to be working on the next video, uh, but yeah, so we're finally got drills in place this episode. They're working properly, and I've started getting the mine shaft put in. Uh, I want to put lights in down through there so that I'm not relying on uh, my light and then kind of take it from there. So we'll see how it all kind of shakes out. I don't have a specific plan. But I'm going to be using catwalks. Uh, so the stairs will be completed. This catwalk will be completed. But the uh, scaffolding or the block that I put in underneath, that's going to remain to look kind of like support structure. And I'm not going to complete it. Same with here, all the way down through here. That's exactly how I'm going to do. I'll leave the blocks underneath as support structures. And then uh, once I get all the way down into here, 
then I'm going to, what I think I'm going to do is make this maybe two blocks wide. And then I'm going to put uh, uh, scaffolding along the edges to make it look kind of like a wall. Uh, I might put scaffolding overhead as well so that it kind of looks like a mine shaft with support uh, and it's supporting the structures up through here. But we'll see. I've kind of got some ideas on what I want to do on that. All right, well, let's head back up to the top and we'll uh, kind of close out the video up here. All right. And it's a beautiful sunny day. Where's that sun at? It's right over here. Holy smokes, look at that. It's a beautiful sunny day here on the frozen rock. And uh, with that, all you space engineers out there, keep building away. Keep uh, uh, building and just creating different uh, ideas. If you uh, have some thoughts on it, uh, please leave a comment. I enjoy reading the comments, and I always try to respond to everybody. All right. Uh, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. And please subscribe. That really helps out the channel. We hit 100 subscribers the other day, and so that was kind of a milestone for me. And so I want to keep uh, kind of building up uh, the subscribership. All right. With that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.